In this video, I'll be checking out where the sewer gas is coming from and stinking up the house by putting smoke in the pipe, actually fog. And it will give me a visual of where this leak is coming from. We're putting some test balls in the pipe to isolate the most likely area where it's coming from. They were smelling it in this portion of the house the most. They just had a sewer pipe put in under, underneath a nice patio right outside. In my sewer camera, it looked kind of sketchy. And it made the most sense that it was coming out of the sewer pipe underground and coming through the cracks in the foundation underground. Check it out though, here's my smoke machine. Yes, I know they make off-the-shelf smoke machines with a built-in blower. Yes, this is a remote that can control on and off whenever I want and it uses fog so that I don't have to burn a whole candle if I just want a little bit. And as I say to others that have asked about this, you don't get smoke in the house, you get fog. Wow. So have a party while you're at it. Check it out. I also want to take this time to apologize for the vertical video format format right now. That was taken on my phone. And some of these videos were taken on my uh, DJI. Yeah, could do with so bear with me, please, and thank you. Better setup, but it works beautiful. And I can use it inside because it's just fog and not smoke. But we got a little bit over here. <laughs> it's like they put a Street 45 into the hub of this SDR 35 green pipe. And then. Did not get this joint together all the way. Or something. So here I am in the process of getting everything measured out. So I know exactly how far the packer goes in to put the liner patch in place. Uh, and then I get distracted by this light bulb that's not working. I see this humidistat. I decided to toy around with that. And for oh. some reason they got this light bulb go. attached to the humidistat. I don't know. When it gets too humid, they put a... Maybe they had a heat lamp in there to help dry it out. They might have had something in back there years earlier. Anyways, we got light. We got the liner patch. We got our air. We got our tape. We got our pullback cable. We got our flexible coupling between the push rods and the packers. We got uh, everything ready to go. Wow. Plastic do they send? Okay then. If you're unfamiliar with this system, that's the pipe patch kit from Source One Environmental. They include all the things you need: gloves, spatula, the plastic sleeve that goes over the packer, the plastic that lays down to protect your work surface, roll of tape, a ton of gloves, a few zip ties, instruction manual, and a box with a checklist on it so you can. Uh, run through everything and not missing something. Oh, and don't forget, you got to get training through them to uh, have the proper warranty uh, qualifications or whatever you want to call it and that they're satisfied with your work. So you can't just go off with this, off this video and be legit, according to them. So <laughs> reach out. It's Source One Environmental. Maybe I'll just put a link down below for everybody's convenience. Not to fanboy all over this thing, but uh, this Milwaukee M18 air compressor is pretty slick, pretty compact, really quiet. It does perfect for this situation, and I really, really like it. And I, and I cannot uh, recommend it enough. And I'm not even getting—I'm not even getting paid for saying that. I like it that much. very important to be able to order the right kit that you need. I think they have three kits 
the one is like your um, regular mix which gives you the most time and then you have your winter mix which gives you a little less time and then you have this which is the rapid mix which gives you even less time I got rapid because it's winter and you know usually it's down to close to freezing oh I don't think I don't think you're supposed to even allow it to get down to freezing but regardless uh, you mix it up quick make sure you're not missing any steps though obviously pace yourself keep track of the time mix it up thoroughly you'll, you'll be good and especially when there's such a short run as I'm dealing with here today when I know I can get it in and it's right there and uh, I'm not going to be fighting to get it down a very long length of pipe so it's just right there I have plenty of time slow smooth smooth is fast don't rush it. At this point, it's just a matter of getting into the pipe and paying attention where the tape mark is on the push rods that you transferred over from your uh, camera reel, which I did at an earlier step you didn't see. And then it's a matter of just hoping it's going to turn out uh, the way it should, that you did your steps right, uh, connect the air. And the steps of the training will include how to figure out what air pressure to set your packer at. You're basically putting in a piece of pipe with holes drilled in the side so you can see when it's inflated all the way and then marking that depending on what temperature you're in and honestly it's not that difficult so now we're gonna wait about an hour and then come back And here's the problem as I'm walking around the side of the house up these nice cement stairs and the stone slabs on the other side and the landscaping and the stones and the little light fixtures and leading up to this fairly new patio that they had to pour over top when they did the uh, sewer line a couple years ago. So they didn't do it right obviously if they're getting sewer gas back in the house and it's literally right underneath me as I'm standing here. So that's a shame because previous owners that did this work, that did this repair, didn't do it right. Now the new owners have to deal with it when they moved in. And we see a lot of that because Somewhere unfortunately where we are, there's no checks and balances and inspections and all that. Piece of drain pipe that wasn't put together right. It's a full structural repair. It takes the place of the pipe that's there and it's permanent. So you don't have to worry about that. 
The homeowners now don't have to worry about that, nor the next owners that buy this place in the future. So it's 100% it's permanent, ready to go. Now that we've waited about an hour, it is a rapid cure, so I only had to wait about an hour. It's about 40 degrees outside. I could have maybe waited a little bit less. We're going to take the air pressure off and see how it pulls free. If it comes off pretty easy, then you know it cleared off the uh, epoxy fiberglass patch really nicely, so it's ready to go. Oh, that came right off. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. I don't know if anybody noticed earlier, but there was a reason I had a rag plugging up the clean out. <laughs> Whew, that is ripe. And as you can see, it turned out perfectly as I expected. I'm still not convinced that's a 45. It might be even a 22 degree fitting right there. Uh, regardless, it turned out exactly as I wanted to. It covered over both those joints. Um, directly right here is actually where the 3x4 transition happens. They actually stubbed SDR35 inside of the house, which is a no-no, and reduced it down to 3 inch. So that was what that was. So everything else looks good, and uh, we'll give it a couple weeks and then check back with the uh, homeowner and see if they smell anything more. I mean, they better not, right? So we're all good to go now.